गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी फॉर गुड मॉर्निंग थ्री संडेज वी हैड बीन हैविंग डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक द सिक्स क्वेश्चन विच वॉज मेनली अबाउट डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव एंड डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड वी डिस्कस मेनी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट नाउ टूडे वी विल डिस्कस और वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्पिरिचुअल एस्पेक्ट हाउ दिस एफेक्ट्स the spiritual life and spiritual mm-hmm. practices mm-hmm. and any kind of attempt to indulge in such activity creates a hampering in spiritual life and also it is problematic and also it undoes whatever you have gained uh, in terms of spiritual practice and spiritual progress one small thing we have to remember and it is a vital thing it's that in spirituality any kind of identification not only with the body and the mind but any kind of difference it could be a difference because of nationality because of language because of gender because of religion anything ethnicity any difference is going to cause lot of problem and in spiritual life there will be no progress so first thing which we have to understand from any level from a mostly from a behavioral level from a practical level is to we have to wipe out all differences in our life there should no there should be no conception of any difference in our minds we should not talk of or even think of differences and we should be able to think about this unification of everything this integration of everything constantly so that your whole bearing your talk your the way you act the way you think will reflect that you do not believe in differences differences only when you can practice this you do it again and again and again for many years then you will get established in that and then one thing will not be there in your life that will be any kind of difference and any kind of prejudice or liking disliking which comes because of this difference that will not be there and only that when that happens then you would be able to uh, become intense in your spiritual life so when we talk about this problem or uh, this um, aspect of human life when we talk about the sex question the problem which comes up as a big problem is the problem of difference and because the problem of difference is a huge problem so mm-hmm. this uh, question also has to be handled in that way we don't want to bog down ourselves by the idea of body because that creates difference and whatever creates difference will bring us no progress in spiritual life and also we would not be able to realize our true nature that is the atman or we will not be able to realize god so this is a established thing across religions across um, um, centuries across time and across geographic locations that people who have attained something in spiritual life have understood that first thing we have to give up is differences and in that because most of us identify ourselves with the body we have to first give up the idea that i am just the body and that whatever enjoyment i get through the body is the only enjoyment or only happiness i can get in life because though we may talk about philosophy though we may have different beliefs this is what we generally do mm-hmm. this is what we generally practice so what you have to practice is not thinking of yourself as the body and the mind and not thinking of any differences whatsoever how many of us can even talk to a driver properly you see how how it is implemented how many of us can talk to a ceo of a company and in the same manner talk to a person who is sweeping the street or the road in the same way with the same respect with the same language with the same approach how many of mm-hmm. us can do that or how many of us can talk to a celebrity in the same way just like we talk to a waiter in a restaurant can we do that no no well, yeah but, but, but we should do that that means right. that that means that we reduce the undue importance we give to the celebrity 
and increase the lack of increase the respect which we give uh, or give respect to the waiter because generally we don't give res- any respect to the waiter people don't treat waiter as a human being so you give the waiter some great respect as a human being for the wonderful work that person is doing and reduce the over attention and over paparazzi or whatever given to a celebrity you treat them on a equal level if we can do this it is a simple practice if we can do this then how many of us even go and talk to a person who i would not use this word but who by the conventional norms is not beautiful we don't but if there is a person who by the convention uh, by the normal um, this thing by what society thinks Uh, is beautiful everyone wants to talk to that person everyone want says you are such a good person actually you are not telling you don't know anything about that person you are saying good because you are carried away by the skin by the by the physical appearance of that person that is why you are saying you are good and you are nice and all that you don't even know what that person is what the person does etc so yeah. this is and then how many of us can go and talk to a person whose language we don't understand whose religion we don't understand who is from a place we don't know we can't right so that that is the first thing we have to do is that we should try to connect to people with whom we don't think there is any connection because there is connection with everyone even uh, how many of us you see one reason why snakes have become extinct as people are mortally afraid of snakes and there are only very few snakes in the whole world which are actually poisonous most of the snakes are not poisonous why because some of the very feeling of snake something which slides is something which we abhor we don't which we don't like and so we don't like snakes uh, we don't like pigs we don't like these type of things so, so there is something which we don't like we don't like the gutter but we do we do like a, a very good swimming pool say so this mm-hmm. kind of likes and dislike this kind of differentiation uh, we we want to uh, live in star uh, residences but we don't like the slum these type of re- differences are the cause of all the suffering in our life and that difference starts from the difference of the body so the only solution to this problem is to actually start practicing not seeing differences in terms of religion in terms of anything so once you do that then you will automatically your whole personality will exude uh, people will like to talk to you people will come to you even though you don't have any quality even though you may not have but this one quality of seeing unity everywhere this one very rare quality of seeing oneness everywhere if you have that if you cultivate that then you will see that you would be unable to see differences after some point it will be difficult for you to understand why people hate some people why people love some people because for you there will be no hate love situation you will only see divinity everywhere that is the only solution for this problem and that has to be done otherwise this whole idea that you are the atman or you are god's child you can never realize not in one birth not in thousand births not in 10000 births till you give up the idea that you are the body and the mind and the one very serious impediment which bogs you down to the idea that you are the body is the sexual enjoyment and so you have to give it up you have to give it up and people who think of themselves as the body cling on to the body and that is why even in ordinary talk if you say i am ready for death then they say oh please don't tell that thing we will live so long i don't want to live long i want to put a stop to this whole cycle of birth and death but people will say please live long oh hero kum kharab ko tum ho ke anchan ke no aisi buri baat kyun kar rahe hain aap subah subah maut ki baat kar rahe hain so this kind of idea comes because we are totally identified with the body anything that makes the body you see even in religion people say 
oh you are doing lot of meditation it seems why because your body looks your face looks so bright that person doesn't understand that this person's face looks bright because that person has got a beauty parlor not because that person has done meditation doing meditation is not uh, going to increase the beauty of your face people identify such things oh that person how can that person be spiritual his face is so bad how can somebody and then they say the face is the index of the mind yes face is the index of the mind but that doesn't mean it is not the index of spirituality it is not the index of spirituality so you should understand that constantly identifying yourself with the body has gone so deep into your personality into all of our personalities into society's psyche that anything we do we try to identify we try to connect it with the body and that is the problem that is the core of this whole problem and that is why whatever you do you go you meditate you think of god for say 10 hours 10 months 10 years and then suddenly you feel that nothing is happening why it is like uh, you are you are uh, getting up a slippery pole or something you are going up four steps coming down six steps so what is happening is actually you are coming down you are not progressing you are not going forward you are going backward very difficult practice yes but there are things which are doable like you for example one thing you um, uh, go to a place of work there <clears throat> it is true that there are different designations but then you just approach everyone for the function they do so the ceo is responsible for the entire thing so you approach for such decisions you approach the purchase uh, head for decisions related to purchase you approach marketing head for that those kind of hr head for those kind of uh, functions so you see them only as functional units that's all but when it comes to treating a person you talk to the ceo on the same level as you talk to the person who is taking care of your uh, who is the janitor now what will happen is the uh, um, uh, that means that means what that that doesn't mean that you start treating everyone as badly as you treat your janitor no but that means that you give everybody the same respect and treat them everybody as wonderful human beings why don't we see that you see even if you cannot see divinity we are all what human beings and that is wonderful being a human being itself is a wonderful thing so if you can just yeah. see everyone as wonderful and great human beings everyone has the possibility to become a einstein or a vivekananda or a mahatma gandhi or a nelson mandela or whatever or amita bachchan or whatever that person chooses to become in whatever sphere of sphere of life that person chooses to become why don't we see that why don't we see that possibility in everyone why don't we see that and if we just even mentally we we just imagine visualize that possibility if we just see that that this is the person and we don't go to the limitations of every person dekho kaise kapde pehne usne are usko angrezi bhi nahi aata aise on the fun side uh, when you are friends you may make fun but that is also not good but okay that may be okay but then not because you don't like some person not because you abhor some person you love people and that should be the source of your fun even your cutting jokes should be because you love people even your scolding somebody it should be because you love that person even you are beating somebody it should be because you love that person everything whatever you do in your life should be based on that love of the common factor of humanity or better still because you see or you visualize you try to understand the divinity which is percolating in all living beings that should be your driving factor if you can do that if you can do that then when you talk to the ceo and also the janitor in the same way none of them will be offended but all of them will feel actually what happens is nobody will feel that you are somebody separate they will feel the they will feel that you are their own and there will be no distinction this happens you can see it happen in your own life so that is what we have to practice it is difficult but then we can do it it is a doable thing 
But yeah. how to practice, huh, Maharaj? That's right. Whenever you meet a person, you just think of that person as a human being, as an extraordinary human being or a divine being. That's all. Forget about what that person is wearing, what the person is saying to you, what the person is doing. How many of you can go to a jail and love a person who has done maybe like 10 murders? <laughs> Yes, that is. That's what so our uh, interactions are dependent on uh, the past experiences that we had with those people. And those past experiences are all colored on what you think is the truth. You see, that is the point. A dog which bites a stranger never bites its owner. Mm -hmm. You see, it's the same dog. Mm -hmm. The same dog when it bites or it barks at the stranger is so uh, it's like a mouse in front of its owner that means what that means whatever you give you will get it is the same dog right the dog has not changed so the murderer is he is a murderer we don't know why do we even need to know what has he done i'm not telling that the whole system of punishment should go but we are not all given the responsibility of doing punishment even the judge once the judge is sentencing a person to death, should not have any more uh, hatred than towards that person who has been sentenced to death, then the judge has any hatred to one's own child. This is what you have done, so this is the system and you are getting the result, that's all. But I don't hate you, you are a person. In that situation, who knows, I could have done maybe 20 murders. So we don't know. So it's all every person is a slave or becomes a slave is influenced by the circumstances. What are the chances that had all of us who are now in this talk, we were brought up in say a slum where we had no access to education, nothing. What are the chances that we would have ended up wherever we are now? Practically zero. So right. our circumstances have driven us to where we are and who where, uh, who got those circumstances, our past actions and also our present actions. Our actions led to these circumstances. So if we want truly to realize God, what is God? God is oneness, right? God is not differentiation. If we want to realize that, let us create that circumstance. Let us make that karma of God by seeing oneness in everyone. If, how are you how are you going to realize God if you are going to constantly say that Ham tum se baat nahi karenge, tum aise ho, I will not mix with you because you are like that. I mean if you are going to constantly differentiate, how do you think you will understand your true nature that is Atman? Or how will you realize God? You're not going to realize God. Because you are constantly practicing something which is so ungodly. The only way you can realize God is by starting to practice something which is godly. By moving more Godward. And that is by embracing everybody. I mean, not in the physical sense, of course not. But then in the mental sense. You, why not in the physical sense? Because that, that again bogs down you to the level of the consciousness of your body, which is so much already predominant in your lives, in our lives. So we have to constantly think of ourselves as connected with not only human beings, but every being in this world. Every being in this world. And if we do that, then spiritual life becomes much much more easier because so many things go away you don't bother about whether a person is a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian you don't bother about whether the person knows sanskrit or knows hebrew or not you don't bother about the whether the person tells prayers or not things become so simple because you know that god is there in everyone it is god which you are seeing as different people it is God, it is Atman, Brahman that you are seeing as the universe. You know that. And your actions, your 
you know you can see that the person who is standing in front of you does not like you at all that person is creating so much suffering for you but yet you will have the courage or you will have the wisdom to smile at that person because you know that this is god and because of ignorance this has come to these type of uh, this type of state of being but actually neither i am i suffering nor is that person giving me suffering but because of ignorance this is what we are seeing so that idea you will get when you will constantly visualize so that is what i am saying you know that a person is doing office politics against you but still you will love the person the same way like you love the person who is your well wisher and it it is possible it can be done but it has to be practiced again and again and again yeah now now it is what happen like if we see any ugly people or if you see any beautiful people it's automatically attracted or distracted it automatically like before mind says something something like if i say see any ugly people oh this is uh, like the hatred comes it does not happen at automatically so whenever it happens automatically you tell your mind what am i doing so conditioning see swami vivekananda was also so much conditioned by his upbringing that when he was walking as a wandering monk and he wanted hookah and that person said wo oh, but i am of a lower caste he walked some steps forward and then he realized what am i doing it's stupid i am a monk i want to see god everywhere so he came back and he said no give me that hookah so this conditioning is very difficult to get out of but why should we do ordinary things subhadeep went to iit i mean this is not an ordinary thing by indian standards i mean anna is doing extraordinary things nandini wants to do extraordinary things byomkesh is doing extraordinary things kanglyan is doing extraordinary things all of you are doing your extra uh, you are doing or trying to do extraordinary things so why should you try to do something very ordinary and foolish and stupid in this life you shouldn't right your mind is conditioned come out of that conditioning it is a wrong condition it's a big lie we are all living so let us face the truth sure i am reminded of that uh, that the story in the gospel that uh, the brahmachari wanted to see narayana in uh, that mad elephant mm. so but we so in that case like uh, the advice is like uh, brahman is there in that mad elephant also mm. but uh, we have to respect the worldly uh, differences no we are not to expect uh, respect the worldly differences you see that is worldly differences are there but we should not respect them like suppose the idea is when you see that the uh, there is going to be some harm in your way you just do prayer to the mad elephant but just go out of the way of the mad elephant that's what is being told so the example is not that you should respect worldly differences you should not see worldly differences but when you see that in the office somebody is doing politics you don't just go and try to you know confront that person don't confront that person just ignore that person or avoid that person but no love that person suppose that person comes to you with asking some help help that person but at the same time don't in bengali we say gaaye pode e kora you don't go and you say oh you are so nice and all that that is not necessary because you know that the person's conditioning is such that that person is not understanding that everyone is one but at the same time you should not see the differences because if you see the differences then what is the difference between you and a person who is not going towards god so we should not at all see any worldly differences but when we see that a person because that way you are helping that person for example jealousy is one big thing in india so when you know that people around you are becoming jealous or when you know that people around you are getting affected because of your progress then what you do is you keep quiet you keep a very low profile you may be doing extraordinary things no need to tell people because anyway who, wherever you are doing those things people know right 
when you go to some place and do something those people know the connected people will be knowing so you don't need to tell about that you just keep mum and let those people who are suffering from jealousy because actually they are suffering from jealousy we think oh people are jealous and that's a problem it may be so but then people are suffering from jealousy so give them some help by not telling about your progress give them some help by making them think that you are a fool that way at least that problem of jealousy they will be able to handle to some extent but you should never see any evil quality in them you should know that the person who is being jealous of you is equally a manifestation of god just like a person who is making you a progress in the material sense that is kalyan we have to i think we have yes, to yes, this one is Mm. you have to what we have to go through those phases like uh, we have to imagine like uh, like uh, i mean to say that he, whatever that hated person is telling or that polit- uh, that uh, political mind per- minded person telling that is uh, that is coming from god i don't know like when we face i mean to say no, it's not I... god better still it is because of what you have done in the past it is your prarabdha karma think like that and actually it is true it is your prarab the karma so let it come but i will love the person <laughs> let's see <laughs> but no i'm saying let's see when that's possible i have practiced it all my life and i see wonderful wonderful it is wonderful at least one thing two things are possible because of that you never get indigestion and you don't like sleep <laughs> <laughs> anybody has seen piku yes piku. yes yeah. yes i was yeah. what is the what is the uh, what is the tag line of piku i mean after the title there is a tag line piku by line don't remember huh huh Don't remember. Hmm. Motion, say he motion. Ah. Uh-huh. So, actually, motion, say he motion, or emotion, say he motion. Both go together. So, if your mind is calm and everything, you are you are generally you have no problems, at least at the mental level. Then your digestion will be good, and you will have a wonderful sleep. So, these are the two practical benefits you get. but there are so many other benefits you get i mean these are the palpable benefits you get but there are so many other more and more benefits and one is that you will be constantly rooted in your spirituality and why do we we are mean to people most of the time we are so mean to people why do we and i um, try to practice a lot is that if somebody is mean to you be the target of meanness let them be mean to you at least that way they are getting mean or being mean to a person who will not give it back to them their meanness will not bring them any harm suppose a person is going to be mean to say some very bad person a person who has a very bad uh, temper or something then there there may be some fight or this person will take revenge or something but if you calmly listen let the person's meanness exhaust itself so most of us are mean most of the times we are mean i mean we say you cannot do that you should not talk like that you should not do thing and we talk mean things why do we can be kind why don't we do that you see and this is very necessary that's what whatever you do even if there is a fight or a quarrel the the quarrel or fight it should it should all end in love everything should end in love it should start in love and end in love and there should be love because not because you love that particular body or the mind or that character but because you see the divinity which is percolating in you papiya why are you so silent no more i am just thinking uh, about this only 
and actually uh, i was just thinking the thing that you are saying those might be doable for people who are political minded who are uh, harmful but not that much but then i was thinking of people who are who has done very uh, heinous crime mm. and then so, when but i mostly think, mostly we are not meeting those people on a day to day basis right 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 mostly we are not actually meeting them only mm. we are uh, hearing ah. about in newspaper also yeah. ah, so let them be there what is there Well, let them be there, and if at all you have any time to go to, that's what I'm saying. The whole idea of how these heinous people are, all of us can do some things. Why don't you go to jails? I don't know whether you know, but in jails there are there are in Indian jails at least there is a provision that anybody can go and meet anybody. You see, you don't need to be a relative or something. You can just go and say I want to meet this person, or you can say I want to just meet anybody. you can go to the jail superintendent and i say you say that i want to you know feed the inmates here i want to feed the people who are here okay you can do that such things why don't you go to a place a slum and uh, take one child and teach them only then you understand because otherwise what ignorance is fear because you don't understand the nature of these people you think oh baba what will happen okay mm -hmm. so because you don't know similarly when you see slum it is like oh baba wow, what will happen if i go there and when you go and interact with this people when you interact with all kinds of people then you understand then you get so much love from them so much kindness from them that one thing you will be first overwhelmed by that kindness then you will be completely swept away by the kindness i i have gone to jails many times i mean not as <laughs> behind the bars but <laughs> so i don't get any ideas okay so i i have gone there and i have been every time completely swept away uh, by the kindness and the love of these people some of whom have committed multiple murders rapes and all that but they are so kind that that same person is so kind so that's what i'm saying first thing you can do if you think that oh yes political people it is as it to handle because that is what you are coming across most of us come across only political minded people and jealous people etc we don't come across murderers and all that so but you can do that you can go to your nearest jail you can meet the superintendent you can say i want to meet the superintendent and you can say uh, what is it i can do for this jail and you will be surprised how small things you can do can you imagine presidential correctional home we don't call jails jails anymore we call them correction correctional home so presidency correctional home in alipur kolkata mm -hmm. they had the same plate which was used by arobindo ghosh they had they were eating food in the same plates of arobindo ghosh time can you imagine <laughs> it had become so old and so unhealthy so one institution came and they simply distributed stainless steel plate and it was not at all costly but it was such a good thing you see so when you go there you can see how small things small things in terms of money it can bring such a huge difference in their lives and you can get so much love from them so why don't you go and do that why don't you just connect to people when you next time you take a cab taxi how many of you when you take a taxi ask the name of the driver you don't when of course when you have to travel like 10 hours or 5 hours or 3 hours you may ask the name of the driver but otherwise a taxi you say ha ah, bhaiya chalo bori bili chalo ah, bhaiya chalo yahan chalo ah, bhaiya chalo uh, kya kehte hain chandni chalo you just say the place where you have to go that's all and everybody is bhaiya no matter whatever age that person is <laughs> so why don't you ask about that person why don't you ask like aapka naam kya hai aap kahan rehte hain aapke bacche hain kya wo kya karte hain see the twinkle in the eye of the person these are all very much doable things and if you do you constantly every time you do it you go beyond that 
uh, that differences you go beyond those differences okay you stop for some place and you take the person who drives your vehicle whom everybody just calls a driver and ask the person to sit in the same hotel and spend some 1000 rupees on that person what is it what 1000 rupees you see the 1000 rupees can bring happiness in the face of that person let it bring happiness in the face of the person all of us can do such things and then you are being truly spiritual otherwise everybody can give big lectures and everybody can read books and all that but only when you do these things you are being truly spiritual there is no class there is no privilege the only privilege is that you are atma that's all so that so the whole problem of the sex question or the hate question or the love question every problem is rooted in one cause and the cause is that we see differences we see distinctions so the solution is to go beyond distinctions go beyond differences once you do that everything becomes simple everywhere it becomes simple but it is not a foolish decision i will remind you that it's not a foolish decision you are not seeing differences because not because you don't know what is happening you know what is happening you understand that the person whom you are talking to whom you are giving your love does not like you at all wants rather that you die but still you love that person and believe me that will come back and even if it does come, does not come back don't bother because we are not doing it for getting more entangled in the web of ignorance but we are doing it because we want to go out of this we want to get out of this constant birth and death that is why we want to do it hmm yeah na so start practice <laughs> and that's what this is one good idea to just connect like some people have maybe housemates you start charity begins at home they say so you start asking the housemaid how if there is some function in her house go to her house attend that function like that that is how you can connect to uh, connect with people and there may be so many people no you see so many people we simply ignore you go to a temple you see the pujari and what is everyone is saying and there is a video doing rounds on whatsapp and other places that don't give uh, pujari anything you go to a temple you never ask whether that pujari is getting money or not you are more concerned oh panda log bahut khate hain etc but you go to the temple can you imagine how much how much that pujari listens to the tales of sufferings of how many people they come and say oh, oh pandit ji mere ghar mein ye samasya hai wo samasya that person is doing that right hmm. and why don't you and even if he is making money what is he doing he is going to feed his family or something let him do what is the problem but you will not do that what will you do instead of telling the sufferings to your pujari or you may tell also ha ah, pujari ji aap acche se puja kijiye wagera and then when you see that the suffering is becoming more you will go to a therapist who will charge you by the hour and you will pay a lot of money to that person <laughs> there you don't even ask questions right because of some boards because of a posh office how ridiculous is that don't you think i think so because most of the times it is those ordinary people those so called uneducated not so much educated people who give you wonderful insights about life not the people who are sitting in great offices they may call themselves therapists but mind you it is that by it is that housemaid who comes to your house and does some work she will give you some idea she will give you some words of wisdom that rickshaw wala who is actually using cycle rickshaw to pull you will give you some wisdom these are the people who tell something which are insightful not people who are sitting in great offices at least that is my experience so why don't we respect these people why don't we respect that person who is driving that auto rickshaw why don't we respect just imagine the plight of a conductor 
we say conductor does this and all that. How many people can stand like that 10 hours a day and do and listen to all the things that a conductor, bus conductor has to listen to? Has everybody, anybody ever thanked a bus conductor? But the same person when we get into a, a airlines, aircraft, when we get out, partly because we want to see the face of the air hostess, I have not any sexist remark here, but that is what most of the people do. It is a reality, it is the truth. Let, let us face it. We just look at it and say thank you. <laughs> Seriously. But why don't you say thank you to that conductor whose working condition is much more miserable, actually way miserable than that air hostess working condition. Why don't you say thank you to that person? So that's what I'm saying. This, the spirituality, when it, you actually become spiritual, when you actually see divinity everywhere, it, it, it manifests. It shows itself. You can see that. And you know what? It is also a wonderful HR technique. I, I, I don't mean it as a technique, but it has got HR ramifications. Everyone will do everything for you. Because everyone will start loving you. So, like some song, they will do anything for you. Has anybody heard that song? Who wrote that song? Brian Adams, is it? Hmm. I can do everything for you. Anything for you? Mm, I'm not sure. Hmm? Oh, because, yeah, yeah. Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Yes, Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Do it for you. Uh, anything I do, I do it for you. Yeah. Everything I do, ah, everything I, I do, I do it for you. Yeah. I don't know. Anna is asking questions in private. Anna? Yes. Can I tell the question in public? Yes, I was just on the this on the spiritual uh, path. I was just wondering, uh, you know, when they they say it's good to be like isolated, you know, to spend some time in isolation. And also, we do have uh, a guru, so that guru, you know, we're supposed to see that person, I guess, uh, in a special way. It may come as a contradiction, but life is contradiction of sorts. But Con, uh, funnily or strangely, we go into isolation to understand that everything is one. <laughs> because when you, to go out of the conditioning, basically this isolation is necessary to go beyond conditioning. When you are in society, when you are where uh, people are there, all of the people are conditioned. Okay, so their influence uh, is too strong on our minds and on our behavior. So it is necessary for us because what we are thinking right now, what I am telling is not the thing which we listen every day. Every day we are fed poison. We are asked to hate people. We are asked to love a particular kind of people. So to come out of this conditioning, we need to go into isolation. That is the goal of isolation. So you go into isolation to realize God or to realize divinity of all life, to realize that everything is one. To realize that, you cannot do that by mixing with everything. Say you say that everybody is one, so let me go and meet one billion people, so I will understand it. No, because everyone will condition you and influence you that I am separate from you, I am separate from you. Instead of that, you go and you ask your mind, you analyze your mind, you do research on the laboratory, in the laboratory of your mind, and then you understand this truth. That is why you go into isolation. Not because you want to go away from people, but because you want to understand that one essence which is common in every life, to understand that divinity, because that will not come in a strongly conditioned environment. You have to go outside the condition. But uh, the strongly conditioned environment gives you a lot of uh, opportunity to practice as well. So if you have, 
Mm, yeah, maybe but, you don't but, have. Yeah, that is true. But then you need to attain to some kind of maturity before coming. And what you're saying is true. It gives you opportunity. Just like I said now that you uh, you meet a um, um, what you call car driver, taxi driver, and you behave. So where do you practice it? You practice it in society. But to attain that kind of maturity, you need to for contemplation. That is why Sri Ramakrishna also says. it does not say that it's for months that you should go because there they are going to the deepest level of contemplation but even for other people who are not into monastic life you should go now and then into solitude and analyze and then you will be able to better practice that oneness in society in that condition and then silence what happened everyone thinking thinking yes. so now just like google say searching dot 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 now i am thinking dot dot google doesn't say that but like i am hmm uh, whatever whatever are discussing these are like all of them are like challenging for us how to like how to do this how to practice so that's why so like it is challenging for everyone but it is challenging many things are challenging that's what i'm saying you know you get into an iit is it a cake walk or what get into an yeah. iim is it a cake walk even to get a promotion and appraisal in your company is it easy no so when you why uh, swami ji put it in a very po- poetic language he said dream but truer dreams he says don't dream vain dreams don't dream like i should have a bungalow i should have a wonderful life partner and all that don't dream such dreams but have truer dreams like i will realize the atman i will realize god i will see oneness in everyone i will see divinity in everything they are better dreams and these dreams will come true Okay, she will say <laughs> nobody is telling anything. Everybody is silent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that is a tip. If in a classroom all students are making halal bullo, what you do? You say that all concentrate on the divinity of existence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Papia. Papia was that Papia or Nandini? Somebody say. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Papia. Oh, okay, tell me. actually i was thinking that uh, sometimes uh, maybe we do uh, i see that i do sometimes but not all of the times and mainly when uh, you know if something goes uh, wrong between uh, some of us like with some of us maybe i know a political person and i still kind of uh, try to love him or her and then uh, try to have a good relation also but then if something goes wrong or i see that that person is doing something wrong with me then again still continuing the same thing is again a bit more challenging so even it's like uh, it's no, one more step the, 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 every time we have to remind ourselves right we forgive and then again that person ishwar chandra vidya sagar once famously asked one person uh, that why are you giving me so much trouble did i do anything good to you <laughs> generally people ask did i do anything wrong but he asked uh, did i do something good maine kya aapka koi bhala kiya hai ame ki kuch bhalo kare ji aapna so that person was confused he said no generally when i do good to somebody that person means uh, uh, hurts me uh, creates some bad situation so that is my experience so i thought i have done some good for you also and you did <laughs> so if you forgive a person the person starts again giving you trouble okay again and again we have to remind ourselves that this person is not atman actually this is atman but the person's tendencies are coming in form of trouble and it is because of my past tendencies my karmas that i am having this experience i am not having 
because in an office there may be 20 people this person is not behaving like the same uh, way like he behaves or she behaves with me with all the other 19 people or 18 people she is behaving differently with other people that means I have done something in the past may not be with this person but in general and because of my tendencies my karma I am getting this result so at the end of the day we are the people who are responsible for whatever we are suffering or enjoying or whatever right. yeah. so that we have to constantly remind because we have so strongly identified with the body and the mind it is difficult for us to remember this so we have to constantly remind again and again and again it is very difficult but we have to do that okay so i think that is the end of this discussion on the sex question uh, actually this is something which we try to find out different kinds of viewpoints on this and this is something which we have to practice our entire lives but uh, here uh, i think this could be also a new beginning in most of our lives and uh, here i uh, conclude this topic and uh, can anyone suggest what would be the topic for uh, group discussion next month next week Fault finding. Fault finding. Okay, fault finding means uh, being critical. Huh? Being critical. That will be being critical will be our uh, next Sunday's topic. Sure. Being critical. Okay.